it's lovely to chat with you varun and i was seeing the trailer it's something that we've not seen you in before and i was reading your interviews you said that you actually lived the character of yusuf every day is it oh yeah i lived it yeah, i lived it i loved the whole thing actually so what was it like getting under the skin of this character and playing he's a cop but he also seems to be the antagonist what was it like getting into his head space uh i i won't call you so the antagonist of the film actually uh, but uh, uh but i get why you're saying that because uh, there's only so much information that you get in the trailer of course uh uh how how was it getting under the skin of the whole thing was there's a f- uh there's a few things that we decided upon uh, uh of course a human being can do so more but over the point was that let's keep it precise uh how this guy is going to be so we uh, on one look uh one uh dialect and that was the whole gimmick part of the whole thing yeah. uh but then we had figured we had to more importantly zero down on uh, what's the subconscious state of yusuf the whole time what how is he positioned in his life and why is he the way he is uh and a lot of uh you know third guessing how cops up north are cuz you can't see you can't really no no a person but you can only uh figure their uh, you know with the way they behave and their behavior and everything and um, so that 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 all once it was decided i just had to slip into the form and that was it any reference points any cops that you have enjoyed watching in the past your favorite uh... i haven't actually to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, there's a there's a certain degree of uh, uh irrational heroism that is brought to uh, every uh, protagonist in our country uh and i am not uh, in agreement with that uh and uh i've actually never watched anything in a prep for anything at all because it just takes away from the creativity and then you're just picking up the good bits of everything and copying what people have already liked so there's nothing new uh so that's why it was a deliberate attempt actually to cloud that whole uh, uh image of the super cop uh as displayed on uh, in cinema and make him as real as possible as vulnerable as possible because that's how actually cops are that's how human beings are mm-hmm. if you put on a uniform it's not bulletproof right so uh, so uh, that that that's what the attempt was uh, so in fact the attempt was to stay away from <laughs> however the image has been and try to keep it as real as possible i also been seeing a lot of uh, you know the ott platform that's what basically the industry is surviving on and it's what we are surviving on in the lockdown <laughs> it's the real stories that are coming also do you feel as an actor since you have done film as well you've done tv and you're doing ott do you think this has come like a breath of fresh air because you know it gives you a wider arc it gives you more roles it gives you better narratives what's your take on it i think it's benefiting everyone uh, i also feel that television is a very uh, television and content for that matter now is a very strong medium with respect to how uh, our societies are shaped hmm uh yes uh, the inspiration is drawn from the society to make content but uh, al- the content also goes on to you know shaping the society uh the, your you know what challenges you intellectually the flow kind of a person in real life also i like having fun if this the whole thing is that i understood this a very long time back the art that we belong to is not a transient one my kids myself everyone's always going to be able to watch this so just pick your choices with a lot of uh, detailing and uh, you know uh, scrutiny the only uh, i just i just read the scripts as if it, it intrigues me i i do it in that and also you're somebody who doesn't like to be much on social media try to keep away from your you know so are you enjoying this whole virtual setup uh the interviews and everything you mean interviews keeping yourself away locked down is it like are you enjoying this process or is it getting to you um i'm not a very social person as you said yeah and to top it up i had a lot of uh, time to spend with my uh, young one she's a year and 3 months now Okay. so i did have a very good time i'm not going to deny that but uh, the cost that it came at could have been different true 
And since you're from Delhi, which is the one thing about, and I'm in Delhi, so which is the one thing about the city that you miss a lot? Winter. Ah, Bombay Vita Hoti Nahi hai winter. Exactly. <laughs> So somebody's uh, so I asked your fans uh, to send some questions. They've asked me three, which I'll ask you. What is the best and worst thing about your profession? Oh, the best thing is, I'm not going to answer this personally mm. because I love uh, this thing mm. and I'm mentally pretty tough. So it's a little difficult to budge me, but I'm going to talk with respect to the profession. Uh, the best thing is that uh, once you lose the innovation of uh, even remembering that there's a camera rolling, it is such a, an enormous high that I just can't tell you. Uh, but that's a very difficult thing to achieve. Extremely difficult. I don't think a lot of people actually think like that either. Yeah. The bad thing is to, the bad thing is to keep your sanity uh, is very difficult. And I have seen, I see people that are not the people that they were anymore and they've become the images that the viewers are made of them. That's very sad. And since there was a lot of talk about Is Pyar Ko Kya Naam Doon to be made into a Turkish series, but your fans in India want to see a season, a, se a season two. Will they ever get that chance? I have no idea. I'm, uh, you'll have to ask the producers, but I'll be game. Oh, that's awesome. And the one thing that you have discovered about yourself in the lockdown that you had no idea about. I could make Chinese food. Koon sa Punjabi Chinese? No, no, that good Chinese I made, yeah. I was uh, very surprised actually. I, and the first reaction I got from everyone was, you can sell this in a restaurant, it's that good. Oh, like, oh. awesome. Yeah. And uh, the person you would want to play you in a movie about yourself. There was a movie made on Badun Sukhdi. Oh. Oh, we cross the bridge when we get there. Okay. And, uh, okay, if you weren't an actor, what would you have been? If I was not an actor, I would have been a disappointment is what I would have been. Really? I mean, you always wanted to be an actor and you know, it's amazing because usually Bombay mein ho, sabko lagta hai easy hai. But jab Dilli ka ladka kehta na, main actor banna chata hoon. Sab kehta hai, beta, doctor ban jau, engineer ban jau. No, you're being very kind. Sabse pahle loog bolta hai ki dimaag kharaab ho gaya iska. Yeah, but I couldn't imagine. I, I, I was uh, working. I am not a, a like, I'm a responsible person. So I would always take the responsibility of my family, but uh, uh, offices get very boring after a time. Like I worked in a call center for like seven years. I was a deputy okay. manager of operations. Yeah. Uh, when I left. So kuch na kuch kar leta na, but it wouldn't have been anything remarkable. And before we go the what was that moment when you decided, Hey man, I'm famous. Woh kabhi kabhi strike hota hai na ki main famous hoon. Woh kaun sa moment tha? I'll write to you when I find that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think like that to be honest with you. All right, okay. Anyways, lovely chatting with you, Barun. Hope to meet you Very in nice person story. and looking forward to... Oh, your... One second, one second. Pooja, yeah. one second. I think our Wi-Fi dropped. I think starting ke two, three questions, you'll have to take it again. So we'll record it again. Okay. The later half is recorded. Answers, right? Yeah. You've got Barun's answers, na? Uh, no, I think you'll have to take his answers also again. Oh, what were the first two, three questions? Who knows? The now? first two questions, I think, was about uh, you playing Yusuf and uh, yeah. any cop that you are most interested in. Delhi University. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, Varun, lovely chatting with you. So I watched the tra a trailer and I like your look in the film. I was reading your interviews. You said that this is a character that you lived through. Right every day and loved also. So please tell me, loved and lived, lived him how? Uh, so uh, with respect to, lived in the sense, uh, we, we had come to a few pointers about uh, how, how and uh, what Yusuf really was and how he comes across as a different thing. Like you will not notice in the trailer, but you will see in the film. Uh, and uh, there's a certain uh, urban image that people have made of me. Mm. Uh, and uh, I am actually uh, urban as well. Uh, it's not that people have made of, only made that image. When I'm presenting myself at my presentable best, I am the way I am right now. But there's a very harsh, rustic side inside, which was dying to come out. Uh, so that, in that sense, I really love portraying Yusuf and you know, uh, lived the whole thing. I was always excited when it was going to start, uh, I mean, the shoots. 
And also what were your reasons to sign on this particular project? Because I'm sure you are somebody who weighs what the, you know, what is the role? What does the story have to say? So what was it? It was a very uh, gripping read. First of all, I uh, finished the script uh, in one go uh, when I got it. And that's a very good sign. And uh, to top it up, uh, I was actually uh, more than why would I do it? It was uh, the question basically was why would Zishan offer it to me? Because, you know, uh, usually casting is done on image kind of a thing. So I, I was actually very uh, happy when I was offered. There was, there was no two minds. Any reference points of cops? Because since um, the cinematic universe loves the Vardiwala, he can be a Vardiwala gunda or he can be a good Vardiwala. Right, yeah. No, I actually wanted to draw away from that and cloud that whole image of uh, the cinematic <laughs> cop that everyone has. Because... Uh, uh, we wanted to base this on uh, our uh, observations of uh, the the behavior of the uniform people uh, because I grew up in Delhi and uh, Zishan also, he grew up in uh, uh, Bihar. So uh, there's a certain way, you know, these men and women have a certain swagger and the way of life that they have in there. They will not budge from that irrespective of how much trouble or how much problem or, uh, you know, uh, happiness they're in. There's only one way they talk and their jokes are very important to them. We wanted to bring that reality. We wanted to bring the vulnerability of a cop uh, sometimes. There's been a lot of times I've seen cops absolutely sweating and of being petrified because there were large crowds gathered and uh, they were uh, outnumbered and stuff like that. So not every cop, actually no cop is a superhero. It's uh, just that they uh, are superheroes in the sense they show courage uh, to, you know, in the profession that they are uh, to save the civilians. But physically, they're uh, like everybody else, like us. And also on the OTT platform, since you've done television, you have also done film and also OTT. Do you think that actives are more real? Because uh, I guess we're all living it and seeing it now on. Uh, and for actors also, do you think it's a far better medium than you know, uh, television. To be honest with you, right now, uh, I usually don't uh, believe in the grading system or anything of that sort, but actually it's a fact that OTT is the best place to be right now because it uh, is uh, ridden of all the evils of television and film industry both. Uh, so, so, so I think, yeah, OTT is the best place to be right now. And are you happy with the kind of content? Because sab kehne, bahut zyada real violent content uh, Violent, hai, that, I agree. There's a lot of times with uh, the uh, I uh, uh, like uh, violence is uh, something that actually can't be misused. Yeah. You, uh, you, you know, you will not place a fight in a show if it's not required. Uh, what can be misused is abusive language uh, you know, to be used as a gimmick, and that's happening a lot. What can be misused is nudity for no reason. Yeah. That's happening a lot. And I, to be honest with you, find it extremely stupid, but maybe I'm not the median guy of. Uh, the country so i'm not the reasonable uh, person to comment on it but uh, violence i think hai bahut zyada lekin i think is relevant okay. anyway lovely chatting with you and i have a good weekend ahead yeah varun do the same puja take care thank you so much bye bye bye, bye. bye.